Okay, welcome back. This will be the last Linux distribution review for 2016. I wanted to include this before the end of the year. During my upload, or after the upload of my video, the top 10 Linux operating systems for 2016, it seems like a lot of you like Peppermint OS. So let's take a look and see what the fuss is all about. Now, I did install this inside a virtual box, no issues. This does have the automatic installer. So if you are a beginner to the world of Linux, this will be very easy to install. So let's see if I can get through this review without coughing. Still still trying to shake this cold. So let's see what we got here. All right. And uh, I don't have the guest editions, uh, guest editions installed. That's why it's not full screen, but that's OK. So this is the default desktop here. I was playing around with the wallpaper. Uh, the default uh, wallpaper is, let's see, what is that? It's, it's one of these, yeah, it was this one. So the wallpaper choices are very nice, actually. Very colorful and uh, candy-ish, I dare say. So, And this appears to be running quite fast and stable, even inside a virtual box. So we have a panel here at the bottom, the usual shortcuts. Let's go ahead and right-click here. To see what this looks like real quick. Okay, pulse audio, very good. All right, left click, audio mixer. Uh, playback recording, output, input. Okay, nothing unusual here. These are going to be, this is the update manager. All right, two desktop, two workspaces. This is, I believe, VLC. The Nemo, or the terminal rather, this is the Nemo file manager. All right, simple enough. And Firefox is here. Let's go to Windows, or, you know, Windows. Let's go to the menu. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm looking at this through the eyes of a Windows user like myself. Anyway. All right, so I, I, I tell you what, let's go ahead and go to All and see what is installed here. So, All. All right, Chess, Additional Drivers, Application. Let's see if anything sticks out here. GW package installer, very good, I like that. Google Drive installed by default. GUVC view for your webcam, very good. Uh, let's go to Peppermint Control Panel. <coughs> Window Manager, Keyboard, Pointer, Keyboard Shortcuts, Desktop Effects and Advanced. Okay, let's move along. Go back to All. Uh, let's see, Peppermint Settings, all right, under Personal, all right, Customize Look and Feel, Panel Preferences, and the rest, simple enough, Hardware. Uh, let's see here, nothing unusual, Network, all right, the usual, and System. Real quick here, Disks, okay, very good. Let's move along. Back to all. Scroll down. Pulse audio equalizer. I don't think I've ever used an equalizer in Linux. I just don't think it's necessary, but it's here if you want to use it. Now, Peppermint OS is more of a web-centric type of Linux-based operating system, but that being said, so far, my test Simple, stable, extremely fast. In my virtual box, I gave this slightly more than a gig of RAM and not having any issues. I believe the Peppermint team recommends that you have at least uh, two gigs of RAM installed to run this. But so far, it's meant to be fast, and it certainly is, even in a virtual environment. Okay, so how does this compare to, say, uh, Ubuntu? Well, it's two different desktop environments. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two different desktop environments. The uh, Ubuntu is more, um, yeah, it's more keyboard-centric. You know, you hit the Windows key and, well, of course, you can hit the Windows key in Peppermint, but in, in Ubuntu, you can hit the Windows key and go from there and search for a, partic a particular piece of software. 
But that being said, if you have an older machine, I would definitely stick with Peppermint. If you don't like the Unity desktop environment, what you see here, then I would certainly try something like Peppermint. It seems a lot more faster, a lot more simple to use, especially if you're a beginner to the world of Linux. So I can see why a lot of you like Peppermint OS. So take a look at the latest Peppermint OS 7. I'll give it a recommendation to a Windows user to at least try. So check it out and let me know if you like it. Okay, I need to take some of my cough medicine. Thank you once again for watching and thank you for another year for this Total OS Today technology channel. If you haven't, haven't uh, subscribed uh, and support this Total OS Today channel, thank you once again. Happy New Year if I don't talk to you. And uh, as always, enjoy your technology and please... Don't text and drive. Be safe.